Be another hot day today. The past few days have been feeling a lot like summer. In a minute, Larry's going to fill us in on the record breaking heat that we saw yesterday. 103 degrees. First, though, meteorologist and Wake Up Idaho producer Sophia Bliss explains how a high pressure system can play a part in creating warmer temperatures. You may be used to seeing a high pressure look like this on a map. But looking at it flat can make it a little harder to visualize how it's working in the atmosphere. Let's look at it like this. You can see the high pressure center sits a lot higher in the atmosphere and the low pressure sits, well, lower. A high pressure can increase temperatures because the tall column of air puts more pressure on air at the surface and compresses it. Just like when you dive down in the deep end of a swimming pool, you feel more pressure on your body because of the weight of the fluid above you. When the air at the surface compresses, the molecules are pushed together, giving them less room to move around. The less room they have, the more they bounce off of each other, and the higher the temperature will be. A high pressure also makes it harder for storms to form, so it makes it less likely for rain to cool us down. During the summer, these systems are slower to change. This means the heat can linger, and the temperatures may not cool off at night to offer a sense of relief. For Idaho's News Channel 7, I'm meteorologist Sophia Bliss.